what do Falcons do? Rise up. But today, we ain't talking about the Falcons. We are talking about the back-to-back University of Georgia National Champion Bulldogs. I can't believe that in my lifetime, my beloved Bulldogs, my alma mater where I went to school, graduated in 11, went there for Stafford, Moreno, Green. I saw the first part of uh, uh, Aaron Murray. I saw a lot of these guys play, and I've seen them play my entire life, and I just – all of the talent that has come through our, our facilities, and we never had this level of, su- of success. And I, I just can't believe in my lifetime that we are in a position where we've been to the national title three out of three out of the last six years and won it in back to back years. I, I am so thankful to the coaching staff for giving me hope. If nothing else happened the rest of my life with the Bulldogs, I will always remember this particular time for me as a fan, uh, for me as a graduate of the University of Georgia. This has been an incredible season, 15 and 0. I, I just couldn't have imagined that this is where we would be in 2022-2023 season. Um, and again, I talk about the talent. I was there for Stafford, who is a Super Bowl winning, probably end up being in the Hall of Fame quarterback. I was there for Aaron Murray, who is an SEC all-time leader. I think some of his records have been broken, but you know, again, set records for the SEC. I was there for Jake, or not there, but I, you know, We've had Jake Fromm, who took us to our first national championship appearance in 40 years and then subsequently lost, but still was a great quarterback. And if he hadn't gone in his junior year to the pros, may have been a better prospect his senior year um, and could have, who knows, led us to another national title appearance. And then again, in the middle there somewhere, or before all that, you had David Green, who, again, solid quarterback prospect, solid quarterback in the SEC, but never turned into anything in college, but has been a solid sportscaster. And all of that talent, all of these highly sought-after, highly talented quarterbacks, and the guy that wins it is a guy from South Georgia. I think he's from Blackshear. Stetson Bennett IV, a guy who went on a crazy roundabout journey, walking on to the team, transferring out so that he could go play Juco ball, coming back not on scholarship, ending up starting in a position – uh, where we didn't expect to be any good, and he had to come into a position that was not favorable for him, where he had to fight against JT Daniels to be a top court, you know, to end up getting the starting job and taking us to the national title as a walk on, who ended up getting scholarship as a walk on fifth year, taking us to the title, undersized walk on fifth year, winning in Indianapolis and subsequently turning around after a historic defense basically all go to the freaking NFL and Georgia just reloads like it's nothing and comes out with yet another amazing offense or another amazing defense and an offense that's clicking on all cylinders. Stetson ends up being a Heisman finalist and again I have said this he should be compared with his games against top 25 opponents compare his games against top opponents to all the other Heisman finalists and their games against top opponents he had them beat statistically by a mile he played tougher competition his stats didn't look as good as theirs because they played easier schedules and last night proved it CJ Stroud I think is the real deal in terms of Heisman potential in terms of opponents that he played but last night Duggan couldn't do jack shit against a solid Georgia defense. Not even the historic one we had before, but a solid Georgia defense that just came out of nowhere and absolutely wrecked his world because he plays at a conference that doesn't play defense most of the time. Stetson Bennett finishes his career at Georgia legendarily, six touchdowns in the national championship. He had 304 yards of the year on 18 passes, for, uh, or 18 completions, four touchdowns. We ended up playing Carson Beck at the end, who didn't really get a chance to throw or run the ball. Like Kenny McIntosh finishes again. Most Georgia guys, you're you're not going to see a stud 
solid feature running back at Georgia. It's just not how we do. We have a solid group of guys who end up going on and being great pros, but they're all rotational components. You had Kenny McIntosh going eight for 50, no touchdowns. Branson Robinson, who's going to be great for Georgia in the future, seven for 42 with two touchdowns. Stetson, again, this is his other two. He had uh, three for 39 with two touchdowns. Uh, you had Clark, Milton. Milton ended up getting a touchdown on 10 carries, probably the least efficient back overall on the night. Brock Bowers stepping in and receiving. Brock Bowers, if the NFL would change their rules to allow sophomores to go to the NFL, Brock Bowers would be a top 15 pick right now. We need to enjoy him because we will not have him after next season. He will 100% go, and he will be expected to be an early first-round pick if he is anywhere near as good as he is now. He is Gronk. He is Kelsey at a college level and will be Gronk and Kelsey when he goes to the pros. I'm calling it right now. Hall of Fame career coming from that man. Lad McConkey. He stepped up where he was basically quiet in the Peach Bowl, 5 for 88 with two touchdowns, and he was getting separation all night long. Um, He's a sophomore, so he is not going to uh, leave us either. He'll be back next year. Darnell Washington only had one catch, but it was really a big catch. He's been a little banged up, so he's trying not to get hurt for the draft. Um, He looked a little hamstrung out there, but he's going to be a guy that's probably a second or third round pick. Uh, Adonai Mitchell, I believe he is a freshman Sorry, sophomore with one catch for 22 yards and a touchdown. The Bulldogs could do no wrong last night. I mean, absolutely destroyed these guys on offense, destroyed them on defense. Our defense had five sacks. We had nine tackle for, tackles for loss. We had one pass deflected, and we had two interceptions, both by Javon Bullard. Great night for uh, for Bullard. He's a sophomore as, as well. He's coming back next year. So a lot of these guys that made, made big plays – are going to be returning for us in the future. We didn't really have to rely on the kicking game all that much. We did miss one extra point, but uh, Jack uh, Podlesny, he had more points as a kicker than the entire TCU offense. This team that had a great story in the Big 12, but again, probably should not have been playing against the Georgia Bulldogs. Played a really good game against Michigan, but they were clearly, from the moment they stepped on the field, outmatched. This is a great day to be a Bulldog, back-to-back champions. We are officially now the villains for everybody else in the college football nation, and I hate that that's the story that we have now because I know how everybody felt about Alabama's dominance for years. But as of right now, in this moment of time, for the last few years, we have now supplanted Alabama as the dominant force in college football. That may change in years to come. It certainly could as long as Saban is the coach there. Kirby Smart has a job at Georgia for however the hell long he wants to be there, and I'm so happy for it. Again, I'm I'm overwhelmed by how well the Dogs did this year. I thought this was going to be a regression year, but Stetson, um, I'm going to be honest, I – I did lose faith in you after the SEC championship last year because I I didn't believe in you. I didn't believe that you were the guy. I thought we should play JT Daniels. My God, you have proven me wrong, and you have proven all of your detractors wrong at every level. An NFL team, I understand. I believe you've been accepted to graduate school, to law school, maybe something of that nature. Go do that if you want to, man, but, but good Lord. You can do anything you want in the state of Georgia for the rest of your life. You are officially a legend and an amazing story forever in, entrenched in Bulldog and SEC and College Football Nation. You have possibly one of the greatest stories of all time to come in as a walk-on and end up leading your home beloved team, a team that didn't really love you until you won the national title. you proven all of your haters and all of your detractors me included to be nothing but wrong i could not be happier to have been more wrong on something thank you so much stetson for six years of college football and for two years of amazing amazing lifelong memories for the georgia nation Thank you so much for all you've done. For everybody watching, thank you guys for continuing to watch my videos, for indulging me in my in my bro love for this man and for this team. Um, this team, you know, as much as I talk about the Falcons, this is primarily a Falcons channel. But the Bulldogs are, were, are, will continue to be my first love. They hold the most significance to me because it's where I went to school, because of what I grew up loving. And the Falcons, though, 
they're a solid team that I appreciate and that I have season tickets to and enjoy going to, but the Bulldogs will always be my first love. So, Stetson, thank you. Thank you so much as a Georgia fan who never thought we would be in this position. Kirby Smart, thank you for being an amazing head coach. Thank you for bringing such intensity to the job. Mark Richt was a great coach, but he was the best 10-2 coach we'll, you'll ever have. I understand he was recently inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame, and congratulations to him as well. A phenomenal, solid Christian man. Just a little too passive in terms of what you need to win a national title. Kirby brought that ferocity and seems to be a solid person outside of that as well. Thank you again to all of the Georgia Bulldogs, to all of these guys, to Brock Bowers, to Keely Ringo, to all of these guys who have made it great. Bear Alexander, who's going to be a beast in the future. Jalen Carter, Christopher Smith, some of these guys going off to the draft. Thank you so much for what you have brought to Georgia, to UGA, for the last two years. On that, guys, let me know what you think about this win down in the comments below, what you think about the future. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all of it. And as always, rise up. But today, again, we say go dogs, go.